Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with the uh, miserable liberal and Ron Placone. I'm miserable. Howdy, howdy, Jimmy. So um, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, this. So uh, the Empire Files tweeted this out. IDF troops kill seven children in a single day. So what do they do? Do they uh, they have to demonize those kids they just killed? They have to tell you that those kids had it coming and that anybody would have killed seven kids. So they make an infographic labeling children Hamas weapons of terror. This is from Empire Files. And here's the here's the IDF. Here's what they said. Did you see this? Have you seen this? No, I didn't send this to you. Hamas can turn anything into a weapon of terror. Rocks, explosives, arson, arson kites. <laughs> you know how well kites fly when they're on fire. <laughs> arson kites, arson kites. By the way, can I tell you, you know, do you know how many Israelis killed by all this uh, Hamas violence, including counting today? Zero. Zero. So when you have people in a prison... And you remove all hope. What do you think they're going to do? Well, some of them are going to try and protest and riot, and they what? They're going to use their weapons, you know, their arson kites against, you know, an Israeli military tank and sharpshooters with assault weapons, with sniper rifles. Hey, I have an arson kite. <laughs> I, I I have a a sniper rifle. Who do you think's gonna win? <laughs> they have Molotov. Like the... They have wire cutters. Do you see that? That's also we had to shoot him. He had a wire cutter, and no means to get close to us. So we had to shoot him. Molotov cocktails. How far do you think you can throw a Molotov cocktail? Twenty yards, thirty yards, forty yards. Maybe if you're like a John Elway, or if you're a if you're an NFL quarterback, you can throw it maybe 50 yards, a Molotov cocktail, because it's not symmetrical like a football. Mm -hmm. There's no it's, there's no wind. It's all wind resistance. So a Molotov cocktail, maybe, maybe, maybe you could throw it 50 yards. But Jimmy, I mean, they you could attach a Molotov cocktail to your arson, arson kite. kite. That was like the ending of Mary uh, Poppins. Uh -huh. so <laughs> uh -huh. I can't and then, of course, when you have a burning tire, you know how hard those are to fix? <laughs> I can't believe marbles didn't make that. Yeah, why list. didn't they just put marbles on there? Hey, they hey, do they also have boomerangs and <laughs> slingshots? <laughs> they and they and they and I bet they had. It's just unbelievable. This is the that's that not a that's not a joke from the Onion. That's a real thing. This is what they did, and it says it says a weapon of terror. A weapon you know, of terror. You know wire cutters. You know wire cutters. Rocks, weapons of terror, explosives, arson kites. So there's there. Uh, today we uh, confirmed a, a a a torturer, a legit torturer as the head of our intelligence agency in the United States today. And I don't know. It's kind of exciting, isn't she? The first woman, first woman, CIA first torturer, woman, first woman it's so torturer. Exciting. And this is another instance of bipartisanship. Yeah, for the torturer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so on the day, so we're not, again, as Martin Luther King said, the biggest purveyor of violence in the world is the United States and their, and their allies. So our entire government is supporting this. Just so you know, Chuck Schumer, it's bipartisan. Chuck Schumer is 100% on board. Uh, Thomas Friedman, did you see him today? He came out, Thomas Friedman came out today and said this was Hamas's fault, that they killed seven children. They're killing all these people. It's Hamas's fault. Thomas Friedman. Thomas Friedman, who should, if there was any justice in the world, would be in jail himself having some of that extraordinary rendition done on him that he so pushed for. If there was any justice in this world, Thomas Friedman would be ha have a, a, a military person 
with an AR-15 come knock on his door and terrorize him and his family, if there was any justice. But there isn't any justice in this world. Might makes right, and that's why this is happening. Wow. Okay. Um, and of course, the New York Times will also agree with the IDF. Of course they will. And they'll say this is because of Hamas. <laughs> they'll say every stupid thing in the world. And then you wonder why people get their news from YouTube. Well, I was going to say, you know what I think a powerful meme would be if somebody just said, you can turn anything into a weapon of terror and then have a picture of a newspaper. Ha! Ah! Our next live Jimmy Dore show is July 1st in Portland, Oregon, and July 15th in Chicago, Illinois. We're doing a live show July 15th in Chicago, Illinois. Go to a link right there for all the tickets to all the live Jimmy Dore shows. Plus, if you can help become a pro premium member, we give you hours of bonus material every week. Become a patron or a premium member. And if you're on Steam It, we're steaming it right now. Plus, every Saturday, we do a live Super Solid Chat Saturday where it's a live stream and you can ask us questions and we'll answer them back every Saturday, <laughs> 2 p.m. Pacific time. Thanks for your support.